red caps and blue caps, pretty little white caps, green caps and yellow caps, polka dotted caps, striped caps. Come out children, where are you? I've got caps for each one of you. It was past noon and the children were back from school. Hearing the familiar song, the children ran out of their homes to greet Ramu Kaka, their favorite cap seller. The children were very fond of him because he told them interesting stories of people he had met in other villages. Moreover, his caps were good and cheap. Ramu Kaka managed to sell a few caps. After entertaining the children with some stories, he decided to move on to another village. On the way, he saw a big tree. Ramu Kaka was tired. He decided to take some rest under this huge shady tree before moving on to the next village. He carefully lowered his basket of caps and after eating his lunch, he went off to sleep. He wanted to take a short nap. Ramu Kaka did not realize that the tree he had chosen was home to a lot of monkeys. They waited till he had fallen asleep. Then they quietly slid down the tree opened his basket and helped themselves to a cap each. Pleased with their new possessions, they scampered up the tree, chattering loudly. The monkeys made so much noise that Ramu Kaka woke up. He was shocked to see his basket almost empty. Hearing the loud chattering of the monkeys, he looked up and... Can you guess what he saw? The monkeys were playing with his caps. He wanted to laugh and cry at the same time. While he was wondering how to get his caps back, he remembered what his grandfather had told him. His grandfather had also faced a similar situation. He too had been a cap seller. And the trick he had played to get his caps back was well known. He grinned. Monkeys like to imitate human beings. He nodded his head knowledgeably. He was sure that he too would get his caps back. Ramu Kaka stood at a place from where he was sure all the monkeys could see him. He confidently picked up a cap from his basket and put it on his head. And sure enough, the monkeys did just that. Then he put his hand on the cap. Looking at the monkeys from the corner of his eye, he was happy to see that all the monkeys too had their hands on their caps. Ramu Kaka then threw the cap down. He waited and waited and waited, but no cap came down. Ramu Kaka was puzzled. After a long time, he looked up and guess what he saw? Grandfather Monkey was sitting with all the monkeys and they were all laughing.